I was just looking to, looking down at the clock thinking, I only have a few minutes before my mother will be here. We're going on a little date. <laughs> so um, I haven't done a video in so long. I thought, goodness, I need to do an update really badly. Um, it's been, what, about four months maybe since I updated you. And in my last video, um, I was talking about how I was diagnosed with hyperinsulinemia. And so it's been about four months since I've had treatment. And let me tell you guys, it has made the whole world of a difference. It took about six weeks of treatment for the hyperinsulinemia until I realized, wait a minute, I don't need a nap in the middle of the day. I can actually make it through the day <laughs> without needing to nap which is extremely monumental for me. Usually I have to take a beat in the middle of the day or I can't make it through. And some days I am bedridden. So this has been monumental, seriously. Life changing. Um, sorry guys, my, my throat's a little froggy. I am getting over a, like a flu type of a virus infection. So I apologize about that. <laughs> um, so that was pretty spectacular, being able to get things done, check things off my lists, things I wanted to do, do some projects, you know, it was just, it felt really good. And I started feeling more and more like myself and oh, it was glorious. <laughs> then um, the week before Christmas, my, one of my grandparents, my grandfather passed and that was super hard, unexpected. Um, so we, our family kind of went through that. And then January 5th, my grandmother passed away on the other side and I was very close with her. So that was like a stab in the heart. And then my grandfather, so who she was married to passed four days later and, uh, Oh, I didn't think it would make me emotional talking about it. It's been a few months, but, um, you know, you, you don't realize how, how much these people influence your life until they're gone. And, um, I was always really close to them. So it's, you know, I knew it was going to be hard. I just didn't realize it was going to be this hard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but it was a very beautiful experience. I was there five minutes after my grandmother passed and then I witnessed my grandfather passing and it was a very amazing and spiritual experience. I'm so grateful that I was there, <laughs> but it also comes with an extra element of, of mourning. So it's been really difficult to navigate through all of that. Um, and being there for my mom. So that's kind of what we've been doing these last few months. Um, they got to have a dual funeral. What an amazing love story. They were married for almost 72 years. They were just a month short for their 71st or 72nd, one of those two anniversaries, and it was beautiful. So, unfortunately, though, <laughs> we got COVID from the funeral. So I had to make sure my mom's not here. Um, we got COVID from the funeral. So that was fun. <laughs> um, I didn't realize I had it though. What it boiled down to is I had like this pounding headache for about a week until I realized something was up. It was pounding. Like it felt like somebody hit me in the back of the head with a jackhammer. It was horrible. I couldn't see straight. It made me dizzy made me nauseous. It was just horrible. Um, my eyes were blurry from it. It was intense. And then it progressed a little bit further as time went on, but it took about four weeks to overcome that. It was no bueno. <laughs> um, and then about two weeks after that, I got this flu of some sort. So I've just been dealing with sickness for the last few months. Lots of fun. Um, but the thing I wanted to say real quickly is I started medical weight loss in January 
um, because I have an actual medical condition and they finally admit it's not my diet, <laughs> even though I've been telling them over and over again, I promise I've been eating really healthy. I've been eating whole foods, no processed sugars, low carb. I've tried intermittent fasting. I've tried keto. I've tried paleo. I've tried counting calories, count counting macros, you name it. I've tried it. And I just, it, nothing was working. I'd always lose some as you witnessed. Um, I would lose some and then I'd come back with a vengeance. So as you know, when I first started this in 2019, I lost 20 pounds. Sorry, my uh, throat. Sorry. Um, so I lost 22 pounds. I weighed 322 when I first started in 2019. I got down to about 300. And then it slowly started coming back. So I was getting frustrated. I went to my doctor, talked to them about it, and they suggested I do intermittent fasting, and I gained 50 pounds. <laughs> so my highest went to 350. Come to find out with hyperinsulinemia, that is a no-go. No <laughs> uh, you live and learn, right? So I started medical weight loss, and my mother is here. So I will wrap this up in about 30 seconds. I started medical weight loss in the beginning of January, right after my grandfather passed. Actually, the day after. January 10th. <laughs> I will always remember. Um, they put me on something called Phentermine, which is a stimulant to help rev up your metabolism and also lower your appetite, which is funny because I would always forget to feed myself anyway, and it makes it even harder to remember to feed myself. <laughs> Um, I can talk more about this, the medical weight loss as time goes. I'm going to try really hard to be more diligent about documenting my experiences with this. But since, let's see, I started the medical weight loss at 3.30 in January and today I'm 3.16. So it was like two months, about 14 pounds. I believe I could have lost a lot more than that if I wasn't so sick and I could have been going to the gym. Um, I've been very religious going to the gym until we got COVID. So it's been, I don't know, maybe even six or seven weeks since I've really hit the gym. I've gone once. <laughs> Oops. But I'm trying to be gracious with myself. I miss it so much. I absolutely love going. Um, so I'm just trying to heal my lungs again, heal them back, get them better, and go back with a vengeance. I'm super excited about that. But 316, I'll take it. Um, I was 350 <laughs> just a year and a half ago. So I'll take 316 and we'll just keep at it and see how this journey goes. Well, thank you so much for watching. Um, I will talk to you more about the weight loss adventures in my next video. Thank you so much. Talk to you next time.